Good day everybody, welcome to part 6 of the GCA for car modeling tutorial. This tutorial we're going to analyze the GTA 4 car model. I'm going to go over all the all the items of the car model, what are some of the model parts and what they are. So this is a tree of all the parts of the model. Uh, these are the parts that we import in of our own car. I'm just going to quickly hide all of these. And this is the car sample car model. These, this is the parent object and there's a child parts underneath and we have a further children under that under that. So you have your chassis. Chassis is mainly the frame of the car. You have level zero, which is the highest um the object with the high detail. There's level one and level two. So each level is uh different. So each level is used for in the game, so the closer the model is, there's more detail. The further away, there is less detail to uh, to improve the to optimize the game. Make make sure the game uh, can be run in many system. For each of objects, there is level zero and level one. Level two is optional. You sometimes you don't need that. You can just delete that, or you can include it in your own car. But um, for this mod, I'm going to keep the car simple, so I'm going to remove some unnecessary things. Um, there's For each of the car parts, there's level 0, level 1, and also collision. Collision is just the shape that will indicate in the game when the car can hit and bump other things. Except for one um, one part, it doesn't have the collision. The body shell it doesn't seem to have a collision. But the body shell is similar to the chassis. But all the other parts, even the wheels, it's got collision. But uh, I'm going to go through each of the parts now. Okay, so each of the parts, there's level 1, level 0 in collision. So this is the bonnet. Um, level 1, that's level 0, this is level 1, there's less detail and inside that you can have extra so all these parts, they need to have the correct name in the game so so the game game can read the car model so uh, so all these, we've got to rename all the, our own car model to match these um, I'll be doing that in the next video but this video is just analyzing the Model. So for each of your part, if you want to add more detail, so this extra is the grill of the car and it's got level 1 and level 0 but no collision for the extras, you don't need collision so the extras are the different levels and doesn't seem to have an anchor but just be aware each of these parts it's got the parent um, icon uh, if, if I hide that there's a uh, indicated indicator dummy or marker so for the bonnet there's a green indicator there this is placed at the corner here so when I rotate it rotates around this point similar to the door as well so this door has an a um a dummy or marker to indicate where it can be rotated so it so the doors and bonnets open properly but that's the bonnet so just again um the markers are in the parent so your parts here the the parent are the markers so similar to the boot I'm gonna go go to the boot So 
So boots the same way. It's got the level one, level zero, and collision, and the parent is the the markers there. Okay, so you got the boot. We have the bumpers, the bumpers front and back. You can have extra, uh, um, what do you call that? Spoiler bit underneath. Uh, but basically you got your bumper level 0, level 1 and the collision so that's the bumper similar same on the back the wings wings are just um, the body parts similar to body show so we're gonna delete these as well later on and you have your doors so your doors is made of windows. The windows are placed inside the doors and there is an indicator there's, at this level there's a, a, um, a dummy or a marker that's placed in the middle. So most of the markers is placed in the middle of the part and that will tell the game this is a window, it, it can um, break up like a glass piece but so um, the windows are placed in the doors and the doors has the markers the green markers right on the corner to indicate where it can be open so these markers we're gonna keep we're gonna replace the, the 3d model and keep the markers because um, yeah, I'm not sure how you make those markers in GTA 4 but in Andreas um, I've seen a tutorial of someone can make those dummies but uh, you need the four doors and the windscreen the windscreen has the two levels and collision you got your rear window the hubs the hubs are, I think the it's the hub of the car wheel and suspension suspension you can have suspension underneath just uh, it's just there to show the animation i think it's not that important so we're gonna delete that later on also the indicators so indicators are are the lights so the lights are basically made out of the different uh the 3d models and just the just the dummy indicate the ma dummy markers and that just tells the game where the light is where to light up so we can move these dummy to match our own car so we just off all the parts we delete the the 3d model and just replace the markers so um that's all the parts but we're gonna go through we're gonna talk about some more dummies these dummies are different so for the engine exhaust the seats they don't need a, a model you can have a model but um, it's you can have your car without it we're gonna skip that to, to keep these tutorial basics so uh, the engine exhaust I think exhaust is back here so these are just the, the markers and it will tell the game where to have the smoke for the seats dummies so these are all blue square markers or dummies and they'll just tell the game where the player sits you have your exhaust, you have your interior light interior light is right here so when you open the door the light lights up and these overheat markers that the grill so it will just smoke up when you damage your car and the fire starts to burn up and for the wheels it, there's only um you only put the 3d model in one area and it will replace um it will place the wheel on the free on the other three areas but you place your model here it's got level zero level one oh, there's no level one but there's collision here so this is would 
tilt a game um, where where the wheels um, affect the world, and you have your markers. So all, all of the wheel has these markers. These markers need to be placed in the middle so the wheel sits well. So for all the other wheels, it's got collision models. So you got the basic shape and the 3D wheel will um, replicate across the car. So you, you just, we're gonna just reuse that and follow the template. And your extra bits, it's not that important. The body shell, so you have the extra bits you can put in the body shell. The hubs are just the, um, the wheel uh, bit but that's basically the model of the car what what are the parts of the car where are the indicators um, where are the models that will interact with the world and we're going to replace these with our own one right here and that's basically basically it and we just gotta place it in the right order with this hierarchy with the right name and that will work in the game so um sometime for level one we can just reuse the same model so um we're just gonna use the same model t twice for level zero or level one so you just need to make one copy of that but that's the analysis of the gta4 car um, that's how you would um, modify and mod the car to make it your own. So that's it. What um, I don't know what else to say. We're going to cover also the painting and the material as well. To actually see the car in the world, we, you got to apply the right shader. I'll talk about that later on in the video, but uh, that, that that hopefully gives you a more understanding of how how the car model works in GTA 4 and how easy it is to mod your own car. You just need to understand it, understand how it works, and make it work. But uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Make sure you subscribe for more video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you later. Have a good one.